I'm Sonia. I'm an artist and illustrator. And today I want to show you all the art supplies that I have with me while I'm traveling. So right now I'm considering myself uh, an art nomad. So as uh, I have told you right now, I am traveling. So I can't have all my art supplies, unfortunately, with me. I used to have, uh, I don't know, uh, so many more of them, of course, but right now I'm pretty limited. Though I've decided to not take extra clothes with me, but to take extra art supplies. So I still have pretty many. And today I want to share and maybe recommend some of them. And if you are considering um, traveling, or I don't know, uh, if uh, in uh, any way this video can be useful for you, I will be uh, very happy. So, I want to start with one of the most obvious art supplies, I think, and it is my iPad, or of course you can have any tablet uh, of your choice. So, uh, this iPad is from 2019, I believe, so it's pretty old. The memory is uh, very limited, it's like 36, I think it's uh, 36 GB. I bought it because I didn't know whether I was going to draw digitally or not. And uh, I am. I am drawing digitally pretty often. And uh, that's why I have it uh, all the time with me and uh, I've um, taken it with me to my travels. So I like it because it allows you to Google references and sketch, draw, paint, post uh, your paintings all uh, using one device. So I love it very much. Of course, I have an Apple Pencil. And uh, uh, actually, I've heard that uh, there are some very good Wacom tablets right now that are uh, pretty pricey. They're more expensive than uh, iPads, at least this one. But they allow you to manage the line more and the textures and work with colors better. So if you uh, draw digitally all the time and you want to buy a very good device, uh, uh, Google some Wacom tablets, latest ones. So, what else I have with me? Of course, I have some traditional materials and... Uh, sorry, this is my new painting line here. So, of course, I have some traditional supplies and my favorite is gouache. So, here I have two gouache sets. One uh, has come here with me, and uh, it is a pastel gouache set. It is from Malevich. Um, and I actually love it very much. The quality is good, the texture is nice, uh, the colors are beautiful. And uh, I really loved that I had only this set of gouache, which is pretty limited. Especially it's limited because it's uh, pastel. Uh, and I think it taught me to be more free with colors, to be more experimental and uh, it really helped me because I feel like I need some more uh, color studies even right now. But anyway, I wanted some more variety in color and shades, so recently I bought a new gouache set, it is from Malevich again. This set has more, uh, you know, traditional classical uh, color palette. One is brighter, these ones, just regular. I love uh, uh, how many of pink there are. And uh, this one, which is more muted. It reminds me of, uh, you know, um, traditional Renaissance paintings. So I've tried them today, actually, and I can show you my sketch. It is this one, it is pretty realistic, which is uh, not my comfort zone. And actually, I think painting in realistic style is much easier than stylizing. Because you just draw what you see uh, when, you work to, uh, when you work in a realistic style. But when you need to stylize something, it's much more difficult. You need to analyze the shape, analyze how you want to transform and change it, choose colors, choose uh, uh, usually a limited color palette, 
like two or uh, three or four uh, colors or shades and uh, for me stylization is much more difficult okay by the way uh, the sketchbook it has uh, um, what's it called gouache paper it's not very thick though it is around uh, 150 i believe grams so it holds water not perfectly as you can see from this uh, piece of paper you see what happened to it yeah yeah well but it will return to normal later when i uh, will be pressing it for a long time so i hope it will be good uh, i bought it because i actually didn't care what to draw on uh, i didn't expect myself to work so much traditionally and especially with um, paints so uh, this paper turned out to be not too bad and i'm satisfied with it and actually i don't think i will um, buy any more expensive and better quality paper because I don't think I really need it as I'm not selling any of my traditional art and I can uh, scan it and make it digital so I actually don't care what kind of paper it is I also want to show you some brushes of mine uh, this one I have used today and I loved it very much so the tip is very okay, thin and pointy, you see, and uh, it is from Haber. I have no idea what it is. I think it's a kind of local company here in Bishkek, or maybe a Russian one. No idea. And I have one more of these. Uh, it is uh, a smaller one. It's number three. This is is uh, this is number five. And I have uh, um, oh, I have one smaller one. I actually don't really like it, it's not very pointy, I had to trim it a bit, but I'll still keep it. Uh, I'll keep this one too, because I think one day I will draw with uh, acrylics or maybe oil, and this will help me to uh, make voluminous brush strokes. I think I will keep a smaller flat brush too, but I will definitely get rid of these fluffy ones. So, um, again, I bought these ones um, at the same time I ordered uh, the sketchbook, so I didn't care what to draw on, what to draw with, so I'm getting rid of these ones right now, and I keep only these five beautiful brushes. Maybe one day uh, these will go to brush two, we'll see. Other traditional mediums I have, uh, these beautiful colored pencil set. It has a pretty standard color palette, right? It has a gray one, black one, uh, I don't really use the black one. And the white is just horrible. It uh, doesn't show on you know, black paper or on gouache, so I don't really use it. But the others are pretty nice. They are medium soft, I would say. But still, the colors are very good. And I love to use uh, color pencils on top of uh, gouache paintings. I think they look pretty good together. Of course, I have some gray pencils too, like these ones. I don't know why I have three, uh, they are all the same. So yeah, regular ones. I have, uh, I believe, three erasers, yes. One is very old and pretty, you know, firm and dense. Uh, I love this one more. It is a new one. It is... I don't know from who. It's just very... Uh, not very, but still soft. And uh, it's it's called Dust Hunter. And it really doesn't leave any dust. And of course, the soft one um, for lighting my uh, pencil sketches. Then I have a couple of more colored pencils. They are individual ones now. And I bought them for um, skin shades. So one is more peachy, like peachy beige, one is pink, and one is for blush. And I use them all the time. Then, of course, I have some liners, and of course, most of them are uh, microns. 
Uh, speaking of not microns, I have these three uh, black liners. They are 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.05. Mm. I don't know what to tell about them, they're just regular black ones. I used to use them all the time, but now I feel like uh, black is too intense for my drawings and for my style. And I prefer using, first of all, these ones. They are brush liners uh, from Pigma. So uh, one is like milk chocolate and the other is dark chocolate. And they are the best. And by the way, they look perfectly on top of Posca pens. So if you use acrylic paint and you need something and you need a liner, you can choose uh, Pigma brushes. I can do the look like. I have one more. No, I have actually two more brushes from Pigma. Uh, there's a pink one and a purple one. They're just regular, but colorful. And I have uh, my Chrono 5, which is in blue color. I love it very much, actually. It is muted blue. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. And the last one is, again, my Chrono, again, it's black. And it's uh, uh, a thick big boy. Uh, it is 08. So it's the thickest uh, liner I have. I don't use it as much uh, right now, because uh, uh, I feel like uh, you need uh, bigger canvases, bigger format for uh, using this one. And also I have two uh, jelly rolls. Oh, there is a little star here. I haven't seen it before. Yeah? Cool. So this, uh, this jelly roll is silver with sparkles. And one is just wait. This is just good uh, jelly pen. So, uh, let's move on to some markers of mine. I have some alcohol markers and even one watercolor marker. Uh, I don't really like watercolor markers, but this one is good because, first of all, it has one brush nib and one bullet nib, and uh, it is this light peachy pink, so when I sketch people and don't want to uh, color them with anything, I draw the uh, line art, I use uh, this one for shades and it looks very good. Then I have a couple of um, alcohol markers. One is just black, just a regular one, uh, it's from Vista Artista. It is a Russian brand, as I remember. Uh, it is pretty good, so just a black marker, really, <laughs> don't know what to tell about it. Uh, warm grey um, alcohol marker. And my favorite ones, uh, two pink uh, with brush leaves. I have no idea why I have two, because the colors are pretty similar. Uh, but I have two, because, yeah, why not? I love pink. And uh, uh, one light blue, grayish blue, it's also with a brush nib. And the last one is uh, with a bullet nib. It is kind of uh, uh, lilac -y, purple pastel, like this. I used to have dozens of them, maybe more than 100 of uh, alcohol markers, but I had to give them all away to my friends before I left. Um, the last uh, word about markers is a set of uh, Posca pens. I call them markers anyway, because they function like markers, so sorry, they're not pens for me, they're markers. And I have uh, 22 or 23 of them, of course I have a white one. They are all of the same size, they are uh, 1.3 millimeters, uh, PC3M they are called. Um, yeah, I use them very often. And that's all. I have uh, nothing more to tell about them. They are mostly very opaque. Opacity is uh, a very important trait in my um, art materials. Because I love uh, my paintings to look, you know, flat, like uh, posters like. 
Mm, I love to see some brush strokes sometimes, not with Posca pens, of course, but when I paint with gouache. That's why I hate uh, watercolor. I uh, like uh, acrylics or oils sometimes or gouache. And uh, uh, so most of the Poscas are very opaque, except for maybe this yellow. It is pretty watery, and if you even layer it three or four times, it uh, still doesn't cover the sketch underneath. So be careful with this one. Okay, we are uh, coming to the end. I have one uh, sharpener. Sharpener it is, regular one nothing to tell about it. I have one ruler. I have, of course, some washi tape. <laughs> big boy again. I love big boys. And uh, uh, my scissors, regular ones again. And the last thing is my favorite, my beautiful paper knife. It is actually my mother's and uh, it is so heavy, uh, but I could not uh, leave it at home as uh, I don't know, I, I just love this one. Another big boy of mine. Yeah, love my boys. So, and that's actually it. I have a couple of more sketchbooks, uh, like this one. I love square format, uh, they are not very big. And uh, the paper is still not thick, it's uh, 150, if I remember correctly. But, as you can see, uh, here is uh, a painting with uh, Posca pens. And uh, it didn't bleed, it didn't bleed at all. So I love it very much, I love the result, I love what it looks like with uh, um, some liners on and uh, uh, Posca pens even. And uh, uh, where are they? Yeah, colored pencils look good too. So I just love it. I feel like it won't hold any water, so. I don't recommend experimenting with it, uh, but all the other materials are good on this paper, so I love it. They're not very um, expensive. It's from Canson. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Uh, I'm not sure that you can find these ones uh, in Russia now uh, because uh, almost already almost a year ago, um, the paper or paper became very expensive. So I decided to buy uh, as many sketchbooks as I could. So I could find only two of these and I bought two. Yeah, and I have both of them with me traveling around the world. So I think that's all. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, tissue for, you know, wet brushes. I'm used to using just my left hand, actually. And uh, it's not because I'm traveling, it's because it's uh, the way I am. Yeah, I'm a pretty messy artist. I love to touch everything. I love to be covered with paints. So I don't know what to... Okay, I'm just uh, a bit crazy. And uh, uh, I don't have a palette, again, unfortunately. I just use uh, spare pieces of paper. And actually, that's a good idea to uh, swatch your colors on the paper you are going to uh, draw or paint your piece on, but I never do that because it would be pretty pricey, you know, so I use uh, random paper and uh, adjust the colors on the uh, final paper. And that's all. I hope it was uh, interesting or useful or entertaining for you. You can share what uh, you use. Uh, what other supplies you like. You can share your recommendations for a traveling artist. Maybe you've been traveling and uh, you can tell me uh, your life hacks and uh, tips and tricks. So that's all. Thank you for watching another video. Uh, I hope to see you next week. Goodbye.